Hey guys, it's Hayden with A-Labs and today we're going to be discussing modifications that you can make in the living areas of your home to promote safety and independence for individuals with severe intellectual disabilities. So we have like tied down some of his devices and we have put stoppers in the drawers and we've even like attached a bookcase to the wall because of experience. Michael has in the past taken his computer and to get attention he has jiggled it um, until it's fallen off the, the computer cart and it almost broke. So we took it and we've tied it down with bungee cords and we've done all sorts of things to keep it on that cart so that he cannot knock it over. In addition, we've done things like added stoppers to the backs of the drawers because in the past he has yanked the drawers so hard and pulled them out. He's dropped them on his foot and almost broke his toe and this became a real problem. Some of the other things that we've done are a lot of property damage situations that we've just tried to mitigate. Um, like putting the garage door foam up on the walls behind the trash can in the bathroom because he was knocking the paint off the walls by pounding the trash can against the wall. He enjoys doing a lot of this stuff because it makes really nice sounds and he loves the sounds of slamming drawers and banging the trash can and all these things. So he has a lot of devices. He uses an AAC device for communication and he has his music on iPod shuffles because he loves to play with the buttons on those. So those the, that's the best thing for him. Um, so we put them in a box, a box that we we had handmade and a Dremel hole in the back so we could put the cords in and it has a latch with a lock that you can lock on the top. And he figured out how to open the latch on his own so we've now put a carabiner through the latch and he cannot get into those devices unless we allow him to. We had to put locks on the cabinets and we used to leave the keys in the locks but he figured out that he could turn the keys so now we have to hang the keys on the drawers when we lock the cabinets so he can't get in. Thanks for watching and we hope that this video provided some insight as to modifications that you can make in living areas to promote safety and independence for individuals with severe intellectual disabilities. If you have any feedback, please comment below.